Hi guys, have you had a good day? Great, it's about to get shit. Okay, it's quite a topical issue recently, so we need to fucking talk about pronouns. Or fucking right, let's fucking talk about fucking pronouns. Pronouns are words which take the space of a noun, so instead of saying the clunky sentence, Holly went to the shop and Holly bought a can of drink, you could say, Holly went to the shop and they bought a can of drink. But Holly is only one person, unless Holly's a schizophrenic. Is Holly a schizophrenic? You would say they, because I use they them pronouns. No, Holly, you say they. I'm going to demonstrate over the course of this video that I say what the fuck I want. Let's get down to the fucking basics. Oh yeah, basic is definitely the word here. You use the pronouns that someone wants you to use that correspond with the gender they identify as. Well, that only occasionally is the case if the person is a good friend and I don't want to upset them. But then generally my friends don't get upset over something like that and that is why they're my friends. I'm personally a gender. Aww, I'm a gender too. I use they them pronouns. And more power to you, motherfucker. But I won't be using those. You're a girl. I can tell that by the way you're getting hung up on trivial shit. To use other pronouns for me is just fucking wrong. No, you're fucking wrong. I mean, I'm a bit of a dick, but I'm not wrong. They, they, them isn't my preferred pronouns. They are my pronouns. If you're not using them, you're just referring to me incorrectly. You, you don't get to choose your pronouns, honey. You're born with them. If a surgeon took a bit of fat from your ass, a bit of skin from your stomach, rolled it up into a tube, sewed your clitoris on the end, and then sewed it between your legs, you might have a chance at having him his pronouns, but otherwise you don't get to choose. You wouldn't refer to the cis guy you went to high school with as she, because obviously he doesn't use she, her, hers pronouns. Actually, that did happen. Quite a lot. Uh, to most people. And they're fine, by the way. They, they, they've got jobs and families and shit now. People referring to them as the opposite gender didn't have any deep-seated psychological effect on them. And just as using the wrong pronouns for someone who is cis, meaning cisgender, meaning identifying with the gender they were assigned at birth as, is offensive. They weren't assigned a gender at birth. They were born as either male or female, just like you and just like everyone in history. No one flipped a coin and said, well, that's what they're going to be now then, Shannon. I hope you kept that receipt for that baseball glove because I've just decided you're having a girl. It is even more offensive to transgender people. But why would it be more offensive? Because it's a fucking act of aggression. Oh no, no, honey, no, no. Weather spoons on a Friday night is an act of aggression. You're just not getting your own way. And disrespect against someone who probably already endures multiple acts of erasure, disrespect and violence in their everyday life just because of how they identify and live. So something as little as getting their pronouns wrong should really be small potatoes, shouldn't it? I mean, I'm not throwing my piss over them, I'm not telling them I'm gonna fuck their shit up, and even if I was, you make it sound like you go through that for every moment of the day, so that's just business as usual, isn't it? Another day in the office. Okay? It's not okay. Let's take Caitlyn Jenner, for example, who recently just came out as trans and was on the cover of Vanity Fair, as everyone probably knows, because it's a very hot topic right now. Well, if I was a part of that community, I would be asking why is it such a hot topic, but carry on. To refer to Caitlyn as anything other than she, her, herself is wrong. Well, then that's Miss Jenner to you, dickless. Even if you're referring to her 20, 30 years ago, she is a she, she identifies as a she. She has always been a she. What about when her name was Bruce? Or won an Olympic gold medal in 1976 in a men's event? Or married a woman in 1991, 24 years before same-sex marriage was legal? And had biological children? You don't get to rewrite history, you fuck up. She is just only now allowed to actually identify and present that way. Misgendering people through the implied gender of pronouns can be extremely hurtful and cause extreme gender dysphoria in people. Well, I don't give a fuck. And if someone's getting gender dysphoria because I used a word they don't like, I'm gonna say they had issues long before they spoke to me. And guess what? You don't know if someone you have just met might be trans, might just use different pronouns, or might experience gender dysphoria. So, nothing I say really matters then. You fucking, you don't know that. So, guess what you do to avoid gendering them? Uh, nothing, because gendering someone isn't something I have to worry about because I don't see it as an issue and shouldn't have to just because you do? You use neutral pronouns. No, I don't. Wow, who would have thunk it?
No one well fucking adjusted, that's for sure. The most common pronouns which are considered neutral are they, them, their, themselves, before you jump in with, but them is plural, you use that to refer to more than one person. Yeah, yeah, I suppose you did save me the trouble there, so thanks, I guess. I still had to stop and say something sarcastic, though. No, you don't always. It can also be singular. Fucking ask a linguist. You're wrong. Well, yeah, that is true. It can be used as singular. As in, this person wants me to use specific pronouns, but they can fuck themselves. You probably already use they, them as a singular pronoun. You just don't realise it. Imagine your friend just got off the phone. Steve! Steve, get off the phone, mate! Nah, off the phone. I need to do a thing. Alright? All right, thanks. Okay, check. Next step. With a doctor. Oh, shit. Steve, are you all right, mate? Everything okay, yeah? And you don't know who their doctor is. You would say, oh no, what did they say? I'd ask, what did the doctor say? Otherwise, it implies that I've been eavesdropping on the whole conversation. Oh, and Steve had found a lump, but I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go, you just used it singularly. Things not to do, do that goddamn s dash he she he thing. That's just silly and incorrect and offensive. How can something be both silly and offensive? Just something for you to think about once you've decided which gender you are today. Or use it. Some people might use it pronouns. I've used it when someone has looked, for lack of a better word, ambiguous, and you really cannot tell what they're packing down there. Uh, but normally it's considered extremely dehumanising and really awful because guess what? People aren't objects. In the film Bicentennial Man, Robin Williams plays a servile robot that, through the wonder of modern science, becomes a biological being to the point that he was able to feel love and was, in turn, loved by other biological beings. The powers that be deemed him human mere moments before his body expired, but up until that very second, he didn't give a fuck about any of this pronoun shit. Now you might be going, oh, but if I'm supposed to not gender people, how do I know what gender they are and how to refer to them? Yeah, that's a good question. I'd say just have a go, and unless that person has their head firmly up their ass, it's not really a problem. See, because of my bold head, I actually get mistaken, as Britney Spears in 2007. Now that doesn't bother me, and I have actually made a couple of quid off of autographs. Guess what? No. You ask them? Don't just say, are you a boy or a girl? Because some people are neither, and also that might be none of your fucking business. Everyone is either one or the other, and how is that not any of my business? I might want to have a go on that. Fucking big deal if it turns out it's the wrong gender. But you can start out by saying, hi, uh, sorry, what pronouns do you use? Oh, that's just a wanky way of asking if they're male or female. If they don't understand what you're saying. Then well done. You've just met a normal human being. Hold them close, for this world is plenty fucked up. Good chance to give them a little education in transgender issues. Yeah, that's just a guaranteed way of spending the rest of the night alone. I will, however, use that technique to stop people sitting next to me on the bus. Asking people's pronouns should definitely be common etiquette. And what do you do if you misgender someone? Just quickly apologise and correct yourself. I'd probably follow up with, No, you're not further demonstrating that I say what the fuck I want. As you would do with one of your cis friends. But a cis person wouldn't require an apology because they don't tend to be utter fuck-ups. Okay, I've got to go back to my life of being a terrifying trans person that's going to uproot the government and change marriage. Ah, serving fries in McDonald's. Got it. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and remember, if you misgender someone, first apologise, and then kill yourself.